your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, guys. It is 512 right now as we take a live look outside. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to get to your daily checklist prior to this, but it looks like uh, we'll start off your morning with a uh, look at what's going on downtown. Just a little fog burning off to start off the morning. But uh, generally today going to be a dry day out there. We're expecting that air stagnation advisory to expire at noon tomorrow. So still some stagnant air to start off the morning, but uh, generally going to be moving toward the trend of drier weather and seeing some showers move in tomorrow. So uh, here's what we got as far as watches and warnings go to start off the morning. We've got that air stagnation advisory. We thought we were going to leave that late last week, and that was what we were expecting. But now instead, we've started off your day with a renewal of that. So this now expires uh, Tuesday. It was in effect yesterday. Uh, basically, we know what this is about. We've talked about this last week. Uh, all that air kind of sticking with the surface, uh, the pollutants near the surface, not allowing them to escape and keeping our air quality in mostly the moderate range to start off the day. Satellite radar is showing the influx of cloud cover from left to right, meaning from uh, west to east. So we're seeing those clouds move in, but it doesn't look like today is going to be all that cloudy. What this is going to actually help do is help clear out some of the fog that we're waking up to, and these uh, clouds are likely going to lift as well as the day goes on. And you can see the wind speeds out there as this cold front arrives. 10 mile per hour winds in Spokane and in Coeur d'Alene, Deer Park at 9, 14 in Ritzville, 7 in Sandpoint, and 12 in Pullman. All in all, eastern Washington. Washington into North Idaho. Pretty foggy to start off the day and also a little bit of a breeze out there. So future tracker shows how those clouds move in as we pass just about the noon hour. We'll continue on through the rest of your day. Looks like those clouds are going to fill the majority of the region by late Monday night and then headed into early Tuesday morning. We've got the showers beginning. So here we got up toward the northern mountains, the best probability of snow. There isn't the strongest chance for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene to encounter some snow, though it looks like we will likely encounter rain. So Spokane and Coeur d'Alene right on it at about 3 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, snow up toward western Montana and moving into the panhandle, but it looks like most of that snow, the heaviest snow, will be north of the border. Uh, the rain for us clears out by the time we get into late Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. By Wednesday, it looks like none of it ever happened. Uh, high temperatures this afternoon going to largely be in the upper 40s and low 50s. So 44 for Coeur d'Alene, 45 for Spokane, 49 in Ridsville, 51 in Moses Lake, and 50 in Richland for our afternoon highs. These are just in line with average, barely. Average would be about 44 degrees, so we're hovering on it for Spokane. Looks like those temperatures are going to warm up as we head toward your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just a bit by a few degrees, and then uh, kind of stick with normal for the weekend. Now there is another chance that after the dry weather for Wednesday and Thursday that we will maybe encounter some more showers headed into Friday. Right now it keeps it at pretty light precipitation, so nothing too strong or heavy, uh, but just the chance for some wet weather again as we head into this upcoming weekend.